Now we're doing Free Code Camp Scientific Computing with Python Beta Build a Time Calculator Project. All right. So what we're going to do is write a function named add time, right? This one right here that takes in two required parameters and one optional parameter. So a start a duration, uh, start time in the 12 hour clock format ending in AM or PM. Okay. So something like this, uh, that's going to be the, that's going to be an argument right there. Also, what else? Uh, a duration time that indicates the number of hours and minutes. So duration right here. This is not three o'clock. This is three hours and 10 minutes. Uh, and then an optional starting day of the week that's case insensitive. So you see these Tuesdays right here looking stupid. Uh, and so we're going to need to change the case. We're going to need to check even if the case is dumb. So first things first, just just seeing that and this over here, we're going to need to have the day thing. So let's put day as an optional parameter. So we'll say day equals none to start off with so that if it's not there, it's no big deal. And if it is there, it'll change to whatever it is. All right. Uh, also, let's do a let's do a function call down here. Uh, let's do this one. Like that. We've got a little traceback action because new time isn't a thing. All right. And there we go. So we've got this set up. Uh, so we're going to plan this out a little bit. So to plan this out, we're going to have some comments. Um, so first we've got this here and we don't even really need to comment this and say we need to start uh, this stuff. But let's start here. Actually. I don't like how this is done right, right now. Oh, whatever. Okay. So let's add a comment here. We're going to add a comment and we're going to put all the comments that we got to have. So first we're going to declare variables, declare variables. All right. And then after that, we're going to convert. We're going to have to convert, uh, this time, like, like a, a three o'clock. This is going to need to be, not three, but 1500. It's going to need to be 15 o'clock so that we can add to it uh, effectively. So we're going to say right here, convert, convert to 24 hour format. All right. So we've got that right there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add the duration I, we're going to add this stuff to this stuff. Okay. So we would have to add like the two to the 11 and the 32 to the 30, which would that, that would give us 62, of course. So then we're going to have to round it up. I'm not round it up, but, uh, add another one here and then set this to O2, right? So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to say, uh, add duration hours and minutes. So we're going to do add duration, hours, and minutes. Okay. So now that we've got that, we're going to have to handle that little overflow when it's 62 on this one so that it uh, adds to this. So we'll say, so we'll say over here, uh, handle overflow, handle overflow of minutes. All right. Then we're going to uh, calculate the number of days later. So like right here, we see it's two days later or this or when it's 205 hours, it would be nine days later. So we're going to need to calculate days later. So calculate days later. All right. Uh, now, after we do that, we're going to need to convert this back to the 12 hour format. So let's say this comes out, this comes out to 2359. Uh, we're going to have to change it to uh, 1159 PM. Okay. So we'll say right here, uh, convert back to 12 hour clock, back to 12 hour format. All right. And then after that, we're going to have to deal with these days of the week if it's provided. So we're going to have to find the index and we're going to have to add uh, days to it. Like two days later on Tuesday is going to be uh, Friday. So, you know, 
thir- Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday or Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, so we're going to have to handle the days of the week, the optional days of the week, optional days of the week. All right. And once we've done that, we're going to need to format it to come back as this or to come back as this specifically, uh, like hours, colon, minutes, space, uh, AM or PM, comma, day of the week, and then this thing. So we're going to say format right here. Uh, We'll say format the final time. All right. Then we'll come down here and now we're going to add We're going to handle this where we add this to the end if it needs to be there and we won't do it if it doesn't need to be there. So we'll say uh, handle next day or or the days later messages message. Right. So if it's the next day, we'll say next day. If not, we'll do uh X days later, in days later, right? Uh, and then the next thing we're going to do is, I mean, it's all in here. It's all written in here. I don't know why I skipped reading it. I'm sure we've all read it before. Okay, that's all I'm trying to say. Uh, then after that, we're going to uh, basically just return whatever the formatted time is. And I don't even think we need to put that. So actually we could return, return, return uh the full fully formatted time okay so these are the steps we're going to take so now that we've got this set up let's start it up so we're going to have to declare variables first as usual all right so the out the variables variables we're going to need we're going to need like this here we're going to need the starting hours we're going to need the starting minutes. We're going to need this meridian, either the post or whatever AM means. I think it's Antres Meridian. I don't remember. It's something Latin. Uh, we're also going to need the duration hours and the duration minutes. All right. So to get this, we've got strings right here. So we're just going to split this. We'll start by splitting the start string uh, by the colon. So it'll give us 11. It'll also give us 43 space PM. All right. So let's start with that. We'll say uh, start hours equals. And then we'll do start dot split. And we'll split it by the colon. All right. Let's come down here and say console dot not console. Dot log. Let's say print uh, start hours. Okay, so here's we go. We've got 11 and we've got uh, 43 space PM, right? So you see they're both strings, so we're going to need to change these up. Uh, but first, let's access this first one. So if we say at zero, we've got uh, 11 right here because that because the 11 was the zeroth uh, thing. You know, here's index zero. So we're going to go at zero. So we've got the 11 right here, but we know this is still a string. So we're going to turn this into an integer by wrapping this up in parentheses and saying int in front of it. So now we've got an integer 11, right? So now that we've got that, let's do the uh, minutes as well, right? So let's get, let's just take this here, drop it, call it start minutes. Minutes. All right, uh, start dot split, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and so we're going to need to access one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, and we're going to need to take this int out of here to start with, all right? So let's call this start minutes. Minutes, all right? So we got 43 p.m., so we only need this part here. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to slice from zero to two, from zero right here one two all right and this is not included the the last number is not included in slices we know that so we're going to do this slice method right there and so we've got 43 let's wrap this up in parentheses and put an int on that as well 
All right, so that's cool. So now we're gonna need to get these meridians, all right? So we'll call this one start meridian. Start meridian equals. And we'll do this right here, but we won't need the int. So let's just th this right here. All right, let's get start meridian, throw it in the print statement so we can watch it happen. All right. Okay. And so now that we've got that, we're going to have to change the split. So let's the, the slice them. So we've got this. So we want to slice from zero, one, two. So we want to slice from three to the end. All right. So let's go like this. Three. Colon. And we see we've got PM because it slices from three to the end. If we put two on there, it would. Oops. If we put two on there, it would give us that space and we don't want that. So we want that PM right there and we don't need to turn this into a uh, in an integer because it's a string. All right, it's a couple of letters. All right, so now that we've got that, let's uh, do the duration minutes and the duration hours. So let's grab these both right here. All right, let's drop it right here. How about that? Uh, and let's say start, let's say start, let's say duration hours, duration hours, and that's going to be duration dot split. All right. And it's going to be the same like that. And we're not going to have to slice because the duration doesn't have a PM. So we're not going to have to slice anything on that one. So we can say, uh, duration dot split and then we'll say duration in front of this too and let's just get this one toss it here and say comma this one as well just so we can check them both and we have 24 20 24 20 like that all right so we've got these five variables looking good and that's all the variables we need right now we'll make some more later but there'll be more local scope variables uh these are just our global variables so let's now convert to 24 hour format. So whenever we get something like this, we're going to need to convert this 11 to 23. All right. So for that, we're going to use an if statement an else if an else an if elif statement. All right. So we're going to start off if uh, if the start meridian start meridian uh, double equals PM. Okay. So if we've got a PM here and so we've got a little edge case we're building in and, uh, start hours does not equal 12 because if it's 12, if it's 12 PM, we don't need to add 12 to it. Right. We're just going to leave it. So, so, and, um, start hours, this thing, uh, double equals no does not equal 12. So if that's the case, what we're going to do is we'll say start hours plus equals 12. All right. So it's going to make that. Uh, hold on. Start a start hours plus equals 12. So it's going to make this uh, 11 here into 24. Let's do a print statement. Print start hours. And we see we've got 23. I think I said 24, but you know. All right. So we've got that. Now let's do an elif. Okay. So this is going to be just in case. Uh, it's like, let's say it starts at 12 something a.m. Right. We can't have 12 a.m. in military time in, in 24 hour time. It's got to be zero a.m. Right. That's how that works. So we'll say elif right here, elif, and then we'll go elif start meridian, Oops. elif, let's just take this. We can take this, actually we can take all of this because we'll pretty much use something similar. All right, so let's change this PM to AM. <laughs> this PM is now AM, okay? Start hours double equals 12. All right. So if it equals 12 exactly, uh, what we're going to do is just make start hours now equal. 
zero. All right. So now it's zero hundred hours. So if it's 12 a.m., it's zero o'clock. All right. And when we press start meridian, well, no, 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 start hours. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's just say 12 a.m. You can see we've got zero right there. Let's bring it back. And there we go. All right. So we've got that going on. Let's get rid of that print statement. And we're done with this section. So now let's add the duration hours and minutes. So we're going to add these to these. All right. So what we're going to do first is we'll do the hours. We'll say total hours now equals uh, start hours plus duration hours. So start hours plus and then we'll have it, duration hours. All right, and let's do the same for total minutes. Total minutes, minutes. All right, total minutes equals start minutes, duration minutes. All right, so we got those going on. No big deal, real easy. So now we're gonna handle the overflow of the minutes. So if it hits 60, like down here, it's gonna be 63, right? Uh, because if we do total min, if we print out total minutes, actually, let's do a print statement on both of these. Print uh, total hours, comma, total minutes. If we print this out, we can see we've got 47, right? That's 47 hours, 24 plus uh, 11. And then we've also got 63 minutes. So we got to round that. We got to add one more here, make it 48 hours. And three minutes and oh three minutes anyway so yeah for that what we're going to do let's get rid of this print statement what we're going to do for that is we're going to start by having a little if statement so we'll say if uh total minutes is greater than or equal to 60 so if total minutes is greater than or equal to 60 all right what we're going to do with that is say total hours now equals no no plus equals one all right so we'll add one to the uh to the 47 that we saw over here uh and then we'll also say uh total minutes total minutes all right and we're gonna do and i just learned that we can do this earlier uh we're gonna do modulo equals to get the remainder of total minutes divided by 60. All right, so if it's 63, the remainder would be three, right? So total minutes would now be three. So now let's come down here and do a print statement. Print total minutes, total hours. All right, and we say we got three and we got 48. It was 47 and 63, and now it's three and 48. So it looks good. Let's go to the next one. So we're gonna calculate days later. All right, so with this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the days later uh, equal the total hours. So we're gonna have like the total hours, we saw it was 48, all right? But let's make it, let's uh, let's add another one just because we're not. Just because yeah, 49 is a little bit uh, crazier of a number than 48. 48 divided by 24 is gonna be two and we don't have to deal with anything, all right? But what we're gonna do here is say days later now equals total hours total hours divided by 24 but if we do this console not console uh, print if we print days later we'll see we've got this terrible number right not going to work for us uh because days later what's total hours let's say what's total hours uh, print total hours, comma, days later. It didn't work? Oh, yeah, don't forget to get rid of that space. All right, so the total hours in this crazy-looking time is going to be uh, 37, right? So if we, that's not going to work. We're going to need to round down to get the number, to get just the number one. So for that, we're going to use floor division. So not only are we using one divi division slash, we're going to be using two. And you see right here, that took care of business. There's, th there's that right there, which we don't like. And there's that there, which we do like. All right, so perfect. Let's turn this back into 11 now that we're chilling. All right, so we've got 48 and two, no big deal. 
All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have the uh, hours later after that. So we'll come down here and say hours later equals. And then we'll say uh, total hours. So total hours, the 48. Total hours. Total hours. All right. And for this one, we're going to uh, divide. We're going to get the remainder operator of 24. So we're going to do modulo 24 as well, which I mean, in our case, hours later, let's do hours later. In our case, it's going to be zero because uh, there's not going to be any. But let's say it's uh, let's make this a 12. We would have 13 because before we did this. It was looking like 37 and then we divide it by if we just regular divide it by 24. If we just regular divide it by 24, it's going to give us that one point, whatever, but we want the remainder. So we'll get that and hours later is going to give us 13. So that's 13 hours later when it's this case. But in our case for this one, it's going to be zero. So no big deal. We know what's going on. So let's get rid of this. So we've got both of the days later going on. We got the days later and the hours later uh, going on. So in this case, it's going to be uh, two days later and zero hours later. All right, cool. Or it's going to be zero hundred hours. It's going to be like twelve oh three, right in the morning. So now we're going to convert back to twenty four hour format. All right. So this is going to be a few an if statement and a few elifs and an else as well. All right. So we're going to start off by uh, taking care of when uh, hours later equals zero. So if hours later equals zero, all right, just like we've got this right here. Let's print hours later while we're at it. Print, print, print hours later. Horse, hours later. All right. So if hours later equals zero, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, say the remaining hours is now 12 because it's going to be 12 in the morning. So we well, not remaining hours. The hours later now equals 12. And we're going to say uh, the meridian. It was we have start meridian, but we're going to be we're going to finish off with this meridian. So this start meridian was specifically for adding and subtracting and converting the 24 hour format. But this meridian right here, meridian, this one is going to be our final meridian. So we're going to say meridian now equals AM. All right. And what? What's the problem here? What's the problem here? It's got to be this, obviously. At not equals double equals. Okay, so if this is the case, so we've got hours later equaling zero here at first, and then when we do it again, we can see it's still zero. Excuse me? Excuse me? Baking powder? Hour later. Hours later. How about that? <laughs> okay, so now it's 12, right? So we've got uh, hours later looking like 12, like, like that, all right? So we've got that going on. Let's uh, do the next one, all right? So we're going to do an elif. Elif. Now, if uh, hours later equals, uh, no, double equals, not double equals. If hours later is less than 12, so if it's morning time, we're just going to change the meridian to a.m. Meridian equals a.m. Hello. How you doing? Boom. All right. So now let's do another elif. Elif. Hours. Actually, you know what? Let's do an elif thusly. Let's take this, copy it, and paste it right here. So if hours later, double equals 12. All right. So if it's 12 on the dot, or 12, the 12th hour on the dot, we're going to say PM, right? That way uh, we don't have to deal with like any if less than or equal or anything like that. It's just right there. No big deal. All right. And now let's do the else. So else if it's afternoon, but it's not the 12 o'clock hour else, what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, hours left 
Hours later. Hours later now uh, minus equals 12. Because if it's like 1300, we're going to need to make it one o'clock. If it's 1500, we're going to have to make it uh, three o'clock and whatever, you know. So we're going to do that. And then we're also going to make sure that the meridian is now PM. All right, there. So that should take care of business for all kinds of uh, thing for all the all the things we're we're looking for. We could actually change this a little bit. Let's see if we can put put an A here and change. Okay, so it's still twelve o'clock there. Let's make it uh, eight thirty p.m. No, how about how about three forty three p.m. Let's see what it looks like. Sixteen sixteen hundred got changed to four o'clock so it was this one all right so it looks good looks like it's doing what we needed to do uh so let's get rid of this we i mean we could check the meridians but we see the meridians are good right there's nothing wrong with those uh so now what we're going to do is handle the days of the week if provided okay if there's an optional days of the week like this one right here we're going to have to deal with this so what we're going to do is we're going to make an if statement to say uh if the day, if this exists, we'll do something. We'll we'll find the index of it, loop, find out what uh, days later plus the index of it is, and then do the modulo of that to find out what day of the week it is. So I'll show you right now. All right, so let's do that right now. We'll have an if statement. So if day exists, okay? So if day exists, we're going to have to first get a list of the days of the week. So let's do that. Days of of the week. Days of the week equals one day. I'll have something like this. Uh, this list already made in in a file, so I can always access it. But not today. Sunday. So we're gonna have Sunday here is the first one. And now that we've got this, let's drop it off six times and change it as we can all right so one two three four five six there we go let's make this a little bit bigger sunday monday all right monday we'll do tuesday here tuesday wednesday wednesday all right thursday thursday friday and then saturday Friday, oops, then we got Saturday, Atur Day, all right, let's get rid of this here, let's close this up a little bit, we don't need too much, we don't need to see that too much, and look, this is good enough, we, we only need a little bit, all right, cool, so now we've got this little list right here, so we're going to loop through, we're going to find the index of where Tuesday is, okay, so we know that index uh, of Tuesday would be 0, 1, 2. But this Tuesday does not look like this Tuesday. If we want to find this Tuesday in this one, we got to do something special. Okay, but it's not too special. It's it's good enough. Mustafa, you came back for the afternoon uh, afternoon uh, live stream. Well, thanks, for, thanks for coming in. All right, so we've got days of the week right here. And what did I say? Okay, so now we're going to have to find the index of where this is. Okay, so... What we're going to do is we'll say day index, day index. We'll make this ver this local scope variable. Day index is now going to equal. And so we're going to have to first we're going to have to deal with this. OK, we're going to have to make this title case to look like this. So for that, what we want to do is say uh, we're going to use the day dot capitalize function uh, method. So we can say day dot dot capitalize all right D day index what day day yeah this day right here so day dot capitalize so it would be tuesday dot capitalize right like this okay so now when we come down here and say print uh day index we can see tuesday got turned from this mess to this uh thing right here let's get rid of these hours later all right. So now that we've got that, we're going to need to get the index. So we're going to use the index method on days of the week. So days of the week dot index. 
days of the week dot index. All right. And that's going to give us when we put day dot capitalize, because we know this equals capitalized Tuesday. So it finds this and gives us zero one two. All right. So the index gives us two right there. So now we know where this is. So now we can add the days later to this, like five, six, 20, 120 days later to this and figure out where it goes in the days of the week. All right. So now that we've got the day index, let's uh, do the end day index. All right. So what the day after we add it to it, this is going to be that index. So we'll say end day index now equals day index index plus and we'll add uh, days later, days later. All right. This thing right here, uh, the calculated the days later. All right. So now that we've got that, we can let's uh, let's look and see what it looks like. So now we've got three. That's not, let's add a lot more days to it. Let's add 233 days. I mean, hours. So there's 12. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Or zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So Friday. All right. So how are we going to do that? We're going to do it just like the modulo up here. We're going to get the remainder and it's going to give us uh, whatever it's going to give us remainder. Uh, it'll give us whatever the remainder is. Anyway, let's do that. So we'll come down here and we'll say, well, inside of this day index and uh, day index plus days later, we'll wrap this in parentheses like this. All right. And it's still going to equal 12. And then we'll do modulo, modulo seven. All right, because there's seven days in a week, right? And we've got five right here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, right? We were looking for Friday and we found it, didn't we? All right. So now we just got to access this to find the end of day. Okay, so we'll say end day now equals, and that's going to equal uh, days of the week at the index, the end day index right there. Back it up. Uh, take this in day index out of here and let's print out in day. Look at this five as it turns into Friday. So there we go. Now we know it's uh, if this is the case, it's going to end up on a Friday. So we're good to go on that one. So let's get rid of this print statement. So we're all clean. And now we're going to go into format final time. OK. Ooh, actually, the thing about it is to get at the end of the at the end of the thing, when we format it, we're going to add in the day to it no matter what. So if it exists, we want it to be this stuff, but we'll also do else. So if it doesn't exist, what we will say is. Uh, what will we say? We'll say in day now equals none instead. All right. So it'll be exactly it'll we'll change it back to this right here because this is day. I guess we could say in day equals day, but we'll just say in day equals none. So there's no confusion. OK. Perfect. That's perfect. All right. So let's go. Let's keep going. Uh, so now we're going to format the final time. OK, so for this, let's do Let's say formatted time, formatted time now equals. And for this one, let's do an F string for it. So let's say F, let's have the string. And then inside this, we're going to format it. So we want the first thing that's going to be the hours, colon, minutes, space, meridians, just like that. Okay. So let's put, uh, Hours left, hours later. Let's put hours later in this one. Hours later here, we'll put the minutes later or whatever it is. It's minutes left. What is it? Uh, total minutes. Yeah, let's put the total minutes in there because the, we already did the total minute uh, modulo on 60 just in case it's 63. So that would be remainder three, right? So we'll put total minutes right here. No, not like that. Like this. Total minutes. And then we'll have right here Meridian. 
All right. So now let's do a printout of the formatted time. Okay, looks not like what we want. We want 03. We want, uh, where is this? We want 1203. We want, we don't want 93. Okay. We want 03. All right. And why is it nine also? Shouldn't it be 12? Oh, because it's got this crazy number. All right. Let's change this back to 2420. So it matches up with this. So I don't get confused. All right. So 430. Four. No. Three. Oh, it's 11. All right. There we go. So now we've got 12, three. All right. That's not going to work for us. So the trick to this, and I learned this while I was doing this, the trick to this is we can actually put some uh, uh, leading zeros in this to where there will be zeros to at least two zeros in this, no matter what. Uh, and if there's other digits, there's other digits. So to do that, after this total minutes, we're going to say colon, right like that. And then we're going to say zero for the leading zeros. Okay. And this is just a little code to make this happen. We're going to have two leading zeros. So we're going to have the leading zeros here. We're going to have two of them. And it know this thing, Python knows. Okay. This is the leading zeros. Then the next thing is going to be the amount of leading zeros. And then we're also going to have D right here for, for, uh, what is this? Integer digit integers or something like that. Anyway, you can see up here we've got 1203 and it works just like a charm. We get rid of this. It looks bad. We have it in there. It looks good. So this is a nice little trick that we now know about that later we can use whenever we want. Right. And so we've got Meridian right here. So we've got 1203 a.m. Looks good. Almost. We also have to add the day stuff. OK. So now let's check to see if end day exists, because if end day doesn't exist, it's going to be none. And if it does exist, it's going to be this stuff right here. So we'll come down here and we'll say if end day exists. All right. Uh, we'll say formatted time. And we already know the formatted time looks like this. So what we're going to do is add another F string to it. So we'll say formatted time plus equals, and then we'll have an F string. And then inside this F string, we'll have this stuff right here, the comma space, and then the day. Okay. So we'll say comma space, and then we'll have this little uh, embedded expression. And we'll have the days later, hours later, days later, days later, hours later, days later, uh, in day, the end day. Just like that. This end day here. We'll put end day in there like that. And so when we grab this formatted time, we do a control X on that. And we drop it off right here. We can see we've got Thursday. It's looking good, isn't it? We're, getting, we're moving right along, aren't we? All right. So now we've got this part going on. Not this space, though. We're going to have to add a space. But we've got this part going on right now. And we just need to add this part if that part is available. Okay. So that's what handle next day or days later message is going to take care of for us. So we'll come down here and we will say, uh, if not phi, if days later, double equals one. Okay. So like in this case where it's the next day, so if days later equals one, what we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, Formatted time plus equals, and then we'll do the next day. So let's go to the formatted time plus equals right here. Days later, we'll do this just like that. Go to the end, pull it back one. Formatted time is this, and then we'll just add space like right here. We'll add space next day, but we're going to type it out. We're going to act like this doesn't exist. Uh, we'll say string space parentheses next day thusly, right? And so if we, and so let's grab the, where's the print statement? Uh, well, let's uh, drop the print statement here. Anyway. All right, so print formatted time, all right? And let's just add like uh, one hour, all right? And we can see right here, 
next day. All right, looks good, doesn't it? But let's go backwards and have it still Thursday like this. So we've got the next day right there, if it's the next day. And then we're gonna do an elif right after that. Elif, days later is greater than one, all right? So let's just, actually we can just take this whole thing. Let's do this, copy that, drop it, put an L in front of the if. Elif days later greater than one. We'll say formatted time plus equals, and we will do an F string because we're gonna have a variable. All right, and then we'll say space, uh, and then we'll have the days later. We'll put, okay, we'll put right here, this, not that, not that, this, space, days, later, okay? And inside here, we're gonna have days later, all right? And so we can see right here, 12.03 a.m. Thursday, two days later, looks good, doesn't it? Now for the moment of truth. Now that this looks like what we're looking for, we're gonna need to re return this thing. So let's return formatted time, see if this thing will let us pass or if I gotta come back through and we gotta debug it. Uh, cross your fingers, we're gonna run it. Run the code, run the test. Voila! And just like that, we have completed two of five certification projects. Looks good and submitted. <laughs> All right. So next thing on my list is uh, go back to whatever it is that we've been doing. Uh, go back to over here. And you can go forward a little bit in uh, your your Python, right? Right. Let's go, right, Mustafa. Uh, I'm so I'm gonna come back over here and finish whichever one these are up, whichever one of these is up, and then we will uh, come back and do some more of this later. Thank you very much, Mustafa. Uh, and then we'll come back and do more of this later because look, we've got to I, I we've got to redo this whole thing. Look, this one's been updated this one hasn't been but we might as well redo it also i think i deleted it anyway so we'll redo this one this one's been updated look at this trash eight f full eight that we got that that they added right at the beginning why don't they ever add them like at the end you know to where i could just change up the end of it they never do it's always somewhere in the middle somewhere somewhere inconvenient regardless of the fact so we're done with that. We'll go over to this. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time.